How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Today, in episode number 77 of Uncut, we're going to be giving you guys three reasons why the Bears' defense is going to be a top five unit in the National Football League in 2020. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Double upload day, double upload Friday. It's been a while since we've put out two uploads in a day, but that being said, and I'm working on how much I say that being said. Don't worry about it. It's, it's not going to come as much in the future. Um, we are trying to put out as much content as possible for you guys. You guys have been absolutely killing it lately. So I would like to say before we get into this one, if you want Bears content literally every day of the week, do us a favor. Click that red button to subscribe. Also click the bell for notifications whenever we post. You guys have also been killing the likes recently. Uh, we put up a Nick Foles video earlier today and said, 50 likes is our goal. We've It's been up for about an hour, and it's already got 31 likes. So I'm going to say it again. The like goal for this video is 50 likes. I, I surely hope you guys will blow it out of the water like you guys have been recently. But we're back with another Three Reasons video. You guys love the video where we put up Three Reasons Why the Chicago Bears Will Shock the NFL in 2020. So we're back with another one about the Bears' defense. We've been talking a ton about the quarterback competition recently, so it's time for a change. I am your host, Chris Maltby, and today I am joined with my co-hosts, Parsh Shaw and Jalen McClinton, for the second upload of the day. How's it going, guys? Doing pretty good. Just recorded another a video like two hours back. Doing another one. Did some homework in between so I can go out later tonight. So, uh, just have a great Labor Day weekend with the boys out here in college. Uh, uh, this is actually my first episode of the day. I'm Chris and Parfino <laughs> Wyatt. <laughs> this is my first episode of the day, but... um. Cut down days tomorrow. Um, we probably find out who starts, you know, later on this weekend. Um, my football's back next week, and I, I can't wait. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we've been talking a ton about the quarterbacks recently, so it's time to uh, change it up, talk a little bit about the defensive side of the ball. Definitely a group that's looking to thrive in 2020. So here are our three reasons why the Bears' defense will be a top-five unit in 2020. I've got number one. First off, the pass rush is back in Chicago. You look at Khalil Mack last year. Akeem Hicks went down. We're going to be talking a little bit about Akeem Hicks later. But let's take a look back at the 2018 season when Leonard Floyd was pretty good against the run. Uh, not the greatest against the pass, but Akeem Hicks was healthy. We're going to look at Khalil Mack's stats first. Khalil Mack came in in the 2018 season, had 47 uh, tackles, uh, 10 tackles for a loss, also 12 and a half sacks. Look at the 2019 stats for Khalil Mack after uh, Akeem Hicks goes down in the Week 4 game against the Oakland Raiders in London. Khalil Mack only has one sack for the rest of the season. Uh, excuse me, not one sack on the rest of the season. Leonard Floyd only had one sack on the rest for the rest of the season after Akeem Hicks went down. But still a down year for Mack. He only had eight and a half sacks, the same amount of tackles, two less tackles for a loss, and four less quarterback hits, ending up with 14 uh, so the importance of Akeem Hicks on this defense is something that really is overlooked a lot by Bears fans. You look at him in that 2018 season when Khalil Mack had 12 and a half sacks. Akeem Hicks was doing his thing, made the Pro Bowl in 2018 with seven and a half sacks and 55 tackles. Also, 16 quarterback hits and 12 tackles for a loss. Uh, Hicks was dealing with a quad injury throughout training camp, but he's looking to be back and healthy here for the 2020 season. If he can stay healthy, we know how much of a different difference it makes on that defensive line. It opens up for Khalil Mack and now, obviously, uh, the new bear, Robert Quinn. Finally, looking at Leonard Floyd, um, you know, he wasn't able to be productive last year. We all knew that. Only three total sacks for him, three tackles for a loss, 11 quarterback hits, uh, and uh, 40 tackles. Uh, Leonard Floyd now with the Los Angeles Rams. The Bears needed to bring in someone this offseason to be able to replace him, and who better to put alongside Khalil Mack and, and uh, Akeem Hicks than Robert Quinn. Quinn last year with Dallas playing alongside Demarcus Tank Lawrence with 11 and a half sacks, 13 tackles for a loss, and a whopping 22 quarterback hits. Look, long story short, whether or whether or not Akeem Six stay health, stays healthy, if he stays healthy, I think this defensive line is going to absolutely ravage quarterbacks here uh, in the 2020 season. It's looking to be very dangerous. If Hicks can do his thing, you're not going to be able to focus all the attention on Mac because if you do that, uh, Robert Quinn's going to be available, and he's shown that he can do it. 
in the past, also during his time with uh, with the St. Louis Rams back in 2013. He had 19 sacks. He can do his thing, and uh, he, he's bound to do it. And even if Hicks isn't healthy, um, the, the problem with Leonard Floyd last year is that he wasn't able to take advantage of his one-on-one opportunities. And we saw uh, that he... that. Uh, when Quinn was alongside Demarcus Lawrence, that he was able to take advantage of his one-on-ones, end up with 34 tackles and 11 and a half sacks. So, the first reason why the Bears' defense is going to thrive here in 2020 is that the pass rush is back. Akeem Hicks is healthy. It, it, it frees up the entire defensive line, and overall, that front seven is looking very scary with Roquan Smith back. Uh, Danny Trevathan re-signed. It's going to be a fun year for those uh, boys in the front seven. So that's my first reason. I'm going to pass it now to my co-host, Jalen. Jalen, what is your reason for why this Bears defense will finish as a top five overall unit in 2020? So the reason I, I feel like the defense is going to be more improved than it already was last season was the cornerback situation. Now, coming into this year, we, we still have you know the same cornerbacks in Kyle Fuller, um, Kevin Tolliver, Bustin Scrying, and stuff like that. But um, I feel like we're going to get better at, at the number two position. Uh, last year, our cornerback two was uh, obviously Principal Kamara, who had a couple good years was a, a couple good years years with us. Excuse me. Last season, um, you, you could obviously tell age was catching up to him. He was getting burnt a lot. And uh, that ended up getting, getting released. He just got released from the Las Vegas Raiders too. Prince is a very good guy, but I feel like um, he was a he was a reason why it was a lot of uh, like we were getting birthed a lot in the back end, especially with Eddie Jackson being out of place, which is something we'll obviously talk about later on to the podcast. Uh, we brought we drafted Jalen Johnson out of Utah with a in the second round with our with our second second round pick, and if. If he can come in and be the number two corner, rather it's him or Kevin Tolliver, who's been mainly a rotational piece since he, you know, came out undrafted in 2018. Um, that that will obviously be a big upgrade for us, um, alongside Kyle Fuller, Buster Scott, and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, you look at Kevin Tolliver last year, a player who's definitely overlooked on this Bears team, uh, was an undrafted free agent in 2018, but 13 tackles, uh, a couple of passes defended for him last year. He's someone who's ready, who's been waiting his shot for a while, and if not, Jalen Johnson's looking to come in, uh, and that cornerback two position is looking to definitely be improved. So it's just about patching up the back end of the defense. Jalen kind of hinted to it. This uh, this third point by Parth is another point about the back end of the defense. So Parth, what do you got? Uh, if you look at 2018 when our defense was ranked top five, Eddie Jackson was arguably one of the best, if not the best player on this team. Um, so and he was playing free safety that year. And last year with the signing of Bahaha Clint Dix, who was actually just cut by Dallas yesterday, which was a very surprising cut. But uh, talking more about Eddie, he will, he, he played strong safety last year. And that was out of position for him. He wasn't able to be his ball hog, ball hawk that he usually is. He wasn't able to go up and read defenses, read the quarterback and play by instinct. He had to play more in the box type of safety. But now with the signing of Tashawn Gibson, or even with Deion Bush starting this year, which we don't know yet who's going to start, Eddie Jackson's still going to be playing most of his snaps at the free safety position where he's going to be able to, you know, read the defense, read the quarterback, play his ball hawk type of defense that he likes to play with his instincts. Uh, he had six interceptions back in 2018. He had two last year. Um, I think with him back at free safety, you can look at him boosting his interception total back up to like three, four, five this year, maybe even more. Depends on how the strong the D line can be, which definitely helps out guys in the back end. And if you look at the strong safety position with Deion Bush or Tashawn Gibson, I think we're both in great hands there. You know, Deion Bush is like that hard hitting safety, more of that strong safety, like like basic soft strong safety. While Tashawn Gibson also brings a little bit of that versatility that uh eddie jackson has that also can play free safety a little bit but regardless of what happens eddie jackson back at free safety is great news for bears for the bears defense yeah i mean uh you look at eddie jackson last year and it wasn't really even a down year for him uh at strong safety i mean it was a down year compared to what he does at free safety but that being said um and i said it again um, the only real positive for him last year was probably that he had a couple more tackles for a loss and a couple more overall tackles because he was up in that box. But that's not what we want out of Eddie Jackson. Eddie Jackson had zero touchdowns in 2019 and has had five in his career throughout two seasons. Uh, you know, uh, we can give up a couple of tackles if he's back there getting more interceptions, getting more takeaways, 
and even getting more defensive touchdowns. So those are our three reasons why the Chicago Bears' defense will thrive and be a top five unit in 2020. Uh, it's kind of ironic with Jalen and Parse points that Prince Mukamara and HaHa Clinton Dix, both players that the Bears let walk this offseason, are both not on units right now. They couldn't make it through a training camp. So obviously it seems like the Bears were doing something right there. But that'll pretty much do it for episode number 77 of Uncut. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want more content from us, do us a favor. Head over to our website, BearDown.com. You can find content on there, uh, such as articles and blogs, sneak peeks of podcasts and such. We have a ton of great working people who do a ton of stuff behind the scenes that definitely don't get recognized. So if you want more content from us, head over to our website, once again, BearDown.com. If you want sneak peeks of podcasts, want to help us decide what to record on, want to suggest guests, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BearDown. We're super interactive on both of those platforms. And you can also find the link to all of our social media fan pages down in the description. Those are some great follows as well. Boys, nine days until the season, Labor Day weekend approaching. Any big plans this weekend? Any last words? I'm just going to be here in college, hopefully, you know, stay safe through this pandemic and just not catch the virus because we don't want to get sent back home as things are getting a little bad out here in Indiana. But, yeah, I mean, hopefully not catch it, but have a great time with the boys. I'm just going to enjoy my four-day weekend. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of resting, something that I haven't done in the last couple of days due to school and stuff like that. But that's about it. Uh, like I said, tomorrow's cut-down day. Can't wait to see, you know, some pride in people who makes the roster and who doesn't make the roster. But uh, that's about it. Yeah, uh, we'll probably have a video out sometime tomorrow night reacting to roster cuts. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a double upload, but we're going to try uh, – if we can pump out content, if we have good ideas, we're going to keep trying to do it in the future. Uh, as I said earlier, the goal by the season is 2.5K. We didn't think it was going to be possible to even get 2,000 subscribers by the season, but you guys have been absolutely killing it. So do us a favor if you're still here now. If you haven't already, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new and want content every day. We're currently at 2,273 subscribers. I believe that means 227 more until 2.5K, I believe we can do it uh, as long as we keep pumping out content. You guys have been loving it recently. So 50 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do it. You guys have been absolutely killing it. It's been a pleasure to be your host. Once again, my name is Chris Maltby. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bears fans, do us a favor. Stay safe during this pandemic. Uh, second wave might be coming soon, but all we can do is be positive and hope for the best. And as always, bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.